the Destroyer, by far Terraria's most cheesable boss. Be made hilariously easy since its 1.1 debut, thanks to the wondrous implementation of piercing weapons. As you'd expect, by now in Terraria 1.4.4, there are plenty of suitable weapons to choose, that each with varying degrees of success can kill the Destroyer in record speeds, and some even in a few seconds. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 of my favourites that can allow you to pretty much skip this boss altogether. Let's dive into it. Starting a bit on the lighter side of things, we have the Hallowed Repeater with Jester Arrows. Now, to be honest, I have also kind of included the T3 Hard Manor Repeaters in this pick too, as they deal similar DPS without, of course, needing to defeat any mech boss. But assuming you have, that infinite piercing will go a long way, allowing you to deal thousands of DPS if lined up correctly. I found that in the perfect scenario, you'd most definitely be able to defeat the destroyer in less than two minutes, which is pretty damn impressive for a weapon you rangers would typically obtain around this point anyway. But of course, this is nothing compared to what we've got in store today, because next up, we have the Dart Rifle with Cursed Darts. Now, this one I really didn't expect, but after seeing just how many people swore by this combo, I had to throw it in. And by god I wasn't disappointed. The DPS potential of this thing is absolutely unreal, firing a trail of cursed flame projectiles that can pierce the destroyer's segments. With this thing fired in the right trajectory, you can expect a sub 1 minute destroyer kill every time. Such an awesome combo. And if you thought that was crazy, wait until you see our next pick, the regular star cannon. The fact a pre halberd weapon has made this list just goes to show how insane piercing can be. With this infinite piercing ranged weapon being able to deliver astonishingly high DPS that, if you're quick enough, can deal over 10,000 DPS to the boss if it's all scrunched up after spawning. If it wasn't for the costly ammo and the fact it has an upgrade, I'd have placed it a lot higher, with it taking out the destroyer in just shy of 50 seconds. Not too shabby. Next up we have our first mage weapon of the bunch, the Meteor Staff. Now, while this doesn't display quite the same DPS as the other weapons shown, not only can it deal a ton more if fired at a clump on the destroyer's segments like this, but can also be obtained nice and easily at the start of hard mode. This really is just a no fuss weapon, and despite the fact it took it out in just over 2 minutes, its ease of use and obtainability makes up for this, making it an excellent choice for you mages. Moving on, we're now venturing into the support weapon space, starting with the Klinger Staff, which is an interesting one. You see, although this as an individual weapon deals much less DPS than the competition, I just had to rank it higher due to the nature of its functionality. You see, its ability to deal all this extra damage while using another weapon to deal the bulk gives it very little downside, and is more so just a DPS increaser. But I do have to say, the Glinger Staff is quickly outshined with the wonderful existence of the Nimbus rod. If you've seen my previous video on this, you'll know how ridiculously good it can be as a standalone destroyer cheese weapon. So combine this with a primary and you'll have some of the fastest destroyer kills so far, even synergizing extremely well with the dart rifle which are having very similar vertical piercing. And just like that, in just 35 seconds, the destroyer is in pieces. Okay, for our next pick, some of you may be quite shocked that a few years ago, this may have held the number one spot. Yep, it's the Daedalus Stormbow. Still tell this day, this has to be one of the most highly recommended weapons to use against this boss, which unfortunately is a little outdated advice, as although I still think it deserves a high spot on the list, just doesn't have anywhere near the time to kill it used to have. But you know what, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. However, if it wasn't for its previous reputation, I would have ranked the Dart Rifle higher, as they both share easy early hard mode obtainability. What a crazy time we're in, and it's inevitably about to get a lot more crazy with the Star Cannon's big brother, the Superstar Shooter. I think it goes without saying that this thing can deal quite good multi-target DPS, reaching tens of thousands with ease. So, as you would expect, again to destroy we've got the first true eraser of today's picks, taking him down in just 7 seconds. Wow! Also, I think it's worth noting that even if you're unable to get lucky with a bunch up destroyer at spawn, the performance of this weapon is still fantastic against the fully extended worm. An absolute beast of a weapon that's only really let down with its obtainability and sustainability. So what could possibly be better than this? 
Well, a weapon with the same time to kill, but without the expensive ammo requirement. Yep, the Tome of Infinite Cheese. This is truly one of these hidden gem type weapons I'm not sure that many know about. You see, it actually comes with two fire mods, a boring regular one and a ridiculous infinite piercing tornado on a right click, which can deliver some of the fastest destroyer kill speeds so far. As you can see though, unlike the superstar shooter, the best strategy with this thing isn't to shoot at all of it bunched up, but is instead optimal to have the destroyer's horizontal length laid out in a straight line, so you can hit as much as possible. And just like that, the destroyer is down in just 12 seconds. So that's our second best destroyer cheese weapon. So the question is, what takes the number one spot? Well, I'm sure many of you have figured this out by now. Yeah, yeah, it's the Drip Flex Rippler. Still tell this day, I don't think people have realized just what this magnificent spiky red ball can do against not only single targets, but lines of enemies as well. The nature of the flail weapon type makes it naturally good against this boss. Pair that with a base damage of 110, and well, it speaks for itself. Was there even a destroyer there? Because I for sure didn't see one. <laughs> I do think that, despite it literally causing the boss to disappear, I understand why you'd still want to go with something like the Stormbow or Star Shooter, as from a consistency perspective, don't expect this time to kill every time, as if you don't quite get the angle right and the worm extends, its performance isn't all that good. So there we have it, 10 of the best weapons you can use to cheese Terraria's most cheesable boss. Of course, these picks are entirely from my experience and will vary person to person, so I'd love to hear your personal one pick down below. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.